Welcome back everyone, Grogen here with some more new cycle, how are we doing? Alright, so this looks terrible with all these red icons on everything, but we are going to sort this out. We just need to get some more people in, but we have still got 35 people sick, which is a lot better than it was. So, I think we need to have a, oh, we've got a group of travellers, which is perfect, let's see how many people we are going to get in, 15 more workers. Right, first of all, we're going to get them doing some, let's get them doing some food, we're going to do this one, we're going to, oh no, we got no mushrooms that one, we'll try doing some doner kebabs in this one and we're going to put the extra person back in there we're going to make let's see how many of the good meals that we actually have now we've got 14 of them so they are starting to build up slowly i could do with getting now that we've got thirty-four thousand people right i'm going to start getting some people back into some of these buildings so we're going to get four in there that's doing this one we want one of the medicine ones which we're going to put four into you we're going to get one of these farms back up and running with grain so we'll get four in there and that's about it for now so next up i want to start getting we needed more people into here didn't we we've got 10 in that one we've got no one in there so will two get us anything gets us two glass a day which is okay i guess um we are totally out of grain which means that uh, well we might as well take the person out of this one that was making meat but it's got no people this one is making meat as well we'll put the fourth person in there this one's not making anything so we'll take you out so our food is building up nicely everything is going okay i guess our maintenance building has got no people in there so our maintenance is really low really low it's non-existent i'm gonna get an extra person in the tailor see if we can start getting some of our clothes back um barn has not been operational for a few days is oh this one's got no one in it let's we might as well turn that one off then because we are back up to 126 people so things are starting to look a bit better we've still got no tools which is really bad because we're making 12 a day in that one that's got no one in it let's see no that's got no one in there and that one has got no one in there so we are just making tools on one of these at the minute but none of our forges are actually working have we got anyone in any of these we don't not in any of them so next time we have some people we're gonna to have to put someone in the forge uh this is using some paper we've we should start producing dairy again and getting that tavern up and running and make people a little bit happier or healthier i'm not sure so our little water things are starting to get more water in as well which is great oh this house doesn't have a road and i don't think we have got enough stuff to build a road to it but let's see oh we've got greenhouse oil pump production sawmill smelter metalworks distillery general workshop barn and orchard utilities so we've got the infirmary right but we still can't figure out oh hang on guardhouse welcomes those who take oath and guards the community from external dangers consumes electricity well we can't do that just yet but you know is it worth getting one up and running just just because we'll go and put you up there what do we want why has it got a little range on it maybe we should put you about there right let's see what we're doing oh vaccine developments that's why we're not making our vaccines just yet we've we're still working on the glass um we're still working on copper ingots and we've got no bronze so that's going to take a little bit of time this one only needs two more glass it needs iron ingots which i do think we have got iron ingots i think let's see iron ingots where are they yeah, we've got 105 iron ingots, so that shouldn't be a problem. But we are... Are we short on bricks? Are we short on bricks? We have got... One brick. Okay. So for that one, we're going to need to start making this back into bricks. But we need to finish that glass a little bit first as well. But people, again, we're only making one glass a day, which is really low. We we are collecting stone again. So how much stone do we have? We're back up to 200 and something. What if we take two people out of there and put them into there get the we're still only doing one glass a day with that so that's no good all right we can drop that down to 13 stone a day and that's still only doing one glass a day which is rubbish all right is our glass done no we still need two more glass for that one and another load for that so we're gonna have to keep that going guard house has been constructed where is it and let's see what it says so oh the guard house Provide security services to the houses within its sphere of influence. Oh, so maybe we shouldn't have put that there. We should have put it by the houses. Well, that's not good. So we are still got no lumber, which is really, really bad. End of year annual report. We lost 47 people, but 15 people joined us. We had a minus 25 for the year. 
um, our food and everything replenished by 34%, which is not too bad. We didn't complete any new developments, but we did uh, get one new structure, two new regions, and two regions improved for the first time. So let's see if there's anything else that we can actually upgrade while we're waiting. So we've done all of this stuff. Let's just check from the start in case I've missed anything. I don't think we have. Okay, so production chains is our next one, but we need 55 tools for that one. Hands-on training, we need 56 tools for you. For that one, we haven't got the bronze or copper, whatever that one is. Copper, I think. Long-distance communications, we need copper as well. Basic machinery, we can actually do that one. Let's get that done, and we can start making some... Oh, we need production chains first. So we need tools for this. For these ones, we can't do any of that just yet. We're kind of stuck. Oh, oh no, we need more iron for that one. We've got 82, we need 79, is that? Oh, we've got... Oh, we need 82, but we got 79. Yeah, that's it. Right, so... We are up to cycle 8 on this. Now, I wonder how many cycles there actually are. But there's nothing else we can make until we start getting some more, more materials. But that's okay. We'll get there eventually. So we have got five more people. Five kids have grown up and become adults. And we wanted to put them into one of these, didn't we? So we can start making some... We, so we can start making some of these. So let's get three of you in there. Let's get two of you in there. That's going to make 12, 34 a day. And then we're going to start making some tools, which is okay. So we are back to 131 people. And that's looking a little bit better. So it's tools and lumber are our main issue. Now, our lumber mill, that's making paper, that one. How are we doing? We've got 2,000 paper. So what if we change it to wood just for now? That's making 13 lumber a day. And we did have one more lumber mill there. That's not making anything because there's no one to man it. So we'll put you in there. And that should help us out a lot. I think. So we need we need some lumber so we can sort out a road for this house over here. Just a little road. Can we get... No, what are we missing? Yeah, four lumber we need. Just four. And we haven't got any. If we could keep, if we just get four, <laughs> it'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> but we are producing it again now, which is good. So what's this one? This is tin ingots. We've got loads of them. So maybe we need to swap back to... Where's our little building? Our smelter. There. We are making tin ingots. We've got loads of them. Iron ingots. Right, what do we need more? Right, for this one? Oh, do you know what? We could probably... Have we not got any tin ore? Let's make some more copper ingots then while we're waiting. No, let's, we need the copper for that one. So let's just make iron ingots until we're ready. Until we've built up a little bit of tin ore. Let's see. Iron ore, we've got 12,000. So that's loads. 105 iron ingots. Uh, tin. Tin ore I'm looking for. See our copper. Stone, iron, coal. Copper. Oh, tin ore. We got one. So we might need. We're not collecting any copper out of this one right now because we've got no people. We've got no specialists either. So, not specialists, but you know what I mean. Where was our other mines? There's this one. This is collecting tin, but it's not getting any a day. Oh, what happened then? <gasps> Fire. Oh, the one we were looking at. Right, let's get a full response on that and try and put it out in time. And we're going to try and get eight people in there. And we're going to... Can we get tin? Oh, there's no tin available in this one. Right, let's get... We're going to need five people just to get some copper in there. Right, we need to find another one of these with tin in. Does this one get tin? No. So that one's going to have to keep getting copper, but it hasn't got no one to go in there either. We'll just put the seven in there for now. I, I'm sure we had another mine somewhere. Is this one? Oh, can we not repair that yet? No, we need more lumber again. So that's probably going to use a load of our water to fix that building. How unlucky was that while we were... Right, let's clear the debris. We're going to need that mine back up and running. So resources, basic mine... Just have to do you back there. And when that's built, we're going to get 
we're gonna have to take some people out of our copper place because we've only got 73 of that though as well so that's still quite kind of low but let's see we lost two people i think how many people died basic mind resources ex ex exhausted right there's loads in there there's loads in there still 2600 left So, it's just people. People are our main thing. So, that's got all the iron ingots in. That's got no bricks in there. So, have we not got any bricks left? Where did we make our bricks? Is that in this one? Right, we're doing the glass. Is the glass done? Right, we need more glass for both of these. So, we're going to have to keep going on that. We're still only making one a day, which is absolutely shocking. Phoebe Brock died due to a catastrophe. But, you know, it is what it is. We're on day 912 already. This has gone so far, so fast, I mean. I wonder what it'd be like to do a, like a 100-day challenge on this game or a 1,000-day challenge. And you know what? I want to thank everyone who keeps coming in to watch the videos. I hope you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up as well, please. It really does help massively getting the, oops, getting the videos shared out and all that kind of stuff. And... If you've got time, drop a comment down the bottom. Just let us know what you think of the game. Look at this. We've got a horrible little sandstorm. We've got ongoing fire. No maintenance workers. Tool supply is low. Clothes supply is low. Health is crap. Low maintenance. <laughs> burial demand. And a sandstorm effect. These sandstorms look kind of cool, don't they? Right. Is our fire out? You'd think... It says there's an ongoing fire, right? But there just isn't. So we need more lumber. That's one of the reasons why we've got no lumber then. Because we've just used 26... 29 of it there so we are producing it our water is great at 38,000 our meals are back down to 70 which is a little bit rubbish but we are running out of meat which really isn't helping whatsoever so let's see what we've got food wise oh look oh that's just that doesn't matter right there was no one working there so we are struggling for meat a little bit what have we got loads of we can do vegetables we're out of fish too so it's really bad, right? Right, over here. We've got no one. Oh, we can put three people in there to collect the fish. That's good. That's good. We need that. Okay, so our tools are still really bad. I don't even know what we're building at the minute. <laughs> Things are just going from bad to worse every time we look at stuff. So we needed to, for basic machinery, we needed production chains. And production chains, we need 55 tools group of strangers have come in nice we are gonna get another 15 people so let's get one more in there for basic tools we're gonna get this one up and running get some more metal in we could actually do it doing copper ingots in one of these but we just need the tools more than anything and we're gonna get this back up and running right doesn't it's not actually producing anything because the maintenance is low the battery is low the regular brick breaks is taking an effect and a flu outbreak so this should be okay because right how many people we got we've got 17 so let's put them in there that's still producing none a day as well but i'm not worried about that because i think your tool i think your production goes down because it was empty for so long right so maintenance workers we've got no we can't do this we just can't keep up with stuff right, let's change that down to medium and see if we can start using a bit less of our stuff we've got our wood keeps going up to two and then dropping down to nothing right we needed to sort this mine out didn't we so it's nearly done as soon as that's done we're going to get the full 10 people in there to start collecting some tin was it tin i think it was tin yeah we've got twenty thousand resources there we've got no one to fill that in as in this one, we could start getting a bit of iron, but what we need is if we got anyone else to collect some more fish. There's three people getting fish in that one. Right, we could probably just do it this way, it'll be a bit easier. Right, that could get some more meat, which is good because we've only got two. So he's going to produce 19 meat a day and 32 a hide a day. So hopefully this is going to start building up a little bit now. Our coal generator is doing nothing for us right now. Oh, we're at minus 285 power. Right, we could probably do it building a few more of these then just to keep us going because uh, right, we might need to take someone out of one of our other buildings. That's got no one in. That has got only four people in there. That's not even making anything. So what if we take you out of there? 
and there we go that sorted us out we just it was just short of people so that's better okay so we've got loads of issues haven't we <laughs> loads of issues <laughs> how many 103 people are sick we got 154 but i'm hopeful that our next little influx of people will provide us with enough we need to finish this medicine one we, don't we the vaccines but the bronze ingots are causing us an issue bronze ingots let's have a look we've got none so where was it that we make bronze ingots i should know this by now you know because we go around these places so often so it's not that one they're copper is it this down here the smelter bronze ingots to do that we need copper ore which we're kind of short of copper ingots right we don't want to do that we want to do how many of them have we got we got 400 now 400 of them so copper ore we need to find which one was doing copper i think it was this one up the top no that's doing tin this one is doing copper but it's not doing any day so have we got anyone anywhere that we can just reduce down for a little bit just a little bit right we could probably we haven't got no one in there working we've only got three in there producing one a day we've only got five in there producing four stone a day what if we we can't take anyone out we're eating raw food you've still got a few rations you're not doing that bad not doing that bad we're making eight meat a day right we might have to take that off meat and change it to oh we've got no food at all have we this is really bad end of year report 16 people died but we gained 22 in total right we need food we need food our rations everyone's gonna start starving soon so let's see our little work camp we could get someone in there doing fish what if we we need these farms though don't we right this one's got not running anyway this one's got no one that's only got one person in so it's not helping that's got four that's got none that's got none let's get you in there collecting a little bit of fish 36 fish a day oh there we go we can add meat into this one too don't know where we just got them extra people from oh loads of people are dying now loads of people are starting to die look it's just the numbers just dropping <laughs> it's dropping so fast well, what we need is people to keep our stuff going how are we doing out here right this has still got 14 people the people don't seem to die out here right this one is not producing any water a day but we got no people but i think if we get people out here we'll start we can see our water's not an issue but that'll produce iron as well that one can do nothing just yet we've got to finish building up out here but it's just two glass short there and then loads of bricks on that one we need loads of stuff it's so much stuff right did we start getting anyone collecting this copper or did we not find enough people for it we might as well take the four people out of there then and get them collecting food just for now that's a dusty road right get two people there collecting fish there's no mushrooms available whatsoever let's see this one oh you can collect some mushrooms nice right what's more important meat or mushrooms we've only got two people let's get some mushrooms just to top them up a little bit because they're going to go off in the winter anyway so that's one of them things right fast forward and see if we can get someone in so after, oh that says we're in spring i didn't know you could hover over that and see where you're up to so let's see if we can not get too many people die through this little illness our hospital i don't really think it's helping that much the hospital is only helping these houses so we should have put that in the middle there right we can't move it can we right let's do another utilities where was our hospital oh there number two infirmary so we could put that there and that would get all of our houses <gasps> oh, did i put that the right way around destroy it a minute destroy it resources uh production utilities infirmary Oh, it doesn't matter which way it goes that's fine okay so that's going to use another 27 of our glass which is kind of not the best because we still need another 111 for that but 
our meals are really low. People are going to start dying in the hundred soon. But our meat is building up as well, so that's okay. We're just going to need a little influx of people so we can start producing more stuff. So that's producing 29 decent meals a day. That one is producing 15 meals, 15. That's not even open. Let's see, what can we make? Right, we've only got 18 fish. We've got, we haven't got enough stuff to do anything. Maybe this one. Right, you're only making four a day. We've just selected that, right? And you're not making any food anyway. So we'll take you out of there and put you into that one. And give us 15 meals a day from you. Four. That one's closed. We'll leave that closed anyway. Right, I'm going to see if we've got anyone in there. Nope. Right, it's okay. Our meals are back up to 18. So they're, they're not doing too bad. It is summer. And things have got to start looking up eventually. Uh, this is kind of like a bit harder than I was imagining, you know. Right, let's... We've got no one to run that, so let's turn that one off. Same with that one. We've got three in there, 38 a day. Got no one in that one. We've got three in there doing 15 a day. Okay, so that should save us a little bit of water. I mean, the water's not really an issue anymore. It will be one day. You know, it'll just drop down to zero in no time. But look, you can see all these blue water things are all filling up really good now. So if we click on that, look, they're nearly full. There's 2,600 water in one of them. Loads of people are dying from illness. We're down to 106. Remember when we were on like 280 people? And things just went pear-shaped so fast, so fast. And I don't know what we were doing, what we were thinking. We thought we thought things were going well, right? And we kind of, oh, a lumber mill has got no, no one working in it. That's not going to help, is it? Right, let's see what our other lumber mills are doing. That one's got three people in doing four a day. That one's got two people in doing none a day. Okay, so we'll take you out of there and put you in there. So that's 13 wood a day, which is going to be a little improvement. Travellers approaching our settlement. Oh, there's a nice little group of people. I don't even know where to put them. We're that short on everything, right? <laughs> we we'll probably want them gathering food more than anything. I think that's going to be... 24 kids became adults. Right, gathering camp. Right, we can do that. Well, look, this is these have gone orange. I don't know whether that means they're doing a bit better. Right, let's get... You getting the mushrooms. You getting the meat. You can start getting loads of fish. But that's all. You can get mushrooms. You can get meat. And you can get mushrooms. Oh, this is... This could be... The best thing ever. Right, more strangers. We have just got another 15 people. So, next up, we're going to want to put people in the lumber mill. Our other lumber mill has got no one in there, so we're going to get five in there. This one has got no one in, so we're going to get five in there. And that's got two in. How many people? There we go. We've still got four more people spare. So, where do we want to put them? Do we need to put them in our little kitchens? Right, that's short on people. We'll do extra in you. Extra in you. Still only producing nine a day. That one's not making anything. No, there we go. That's got to be better, right? We'll take you out of there, put you in there. There's a lot of little, like, man management in this game, isn't there? Right, there's no what That's broke. That's not making any difference. Might as well put a third person in that one. Loads of people are just still dying. It's just so bad. But we've got 79 sick out of 115. Do you know what? That little influx of people helped us so much. Right, we've got a little bit of wood. I'm thinking maybe while we've got it, let's just do a little road to this house. There we go. That sorted that out. So is there anything we can go and do on the on this way? Oh, I wanted to bring people out here, didn't I? So we could start producing more stuff out here. But it's just not... We just can't seem to keep the people... People come and people die straight away. It's our little water pump. That's making 84 a day. Um, let's see. Was there anything else we wanted to do production change? We're still short on tools. And look. That's not producing anything anymore. That's doing four a day. Right, we're going to just get... Oh, people just dying as I'm putting them in. <laughs> Well, it's okay. We're making four iron a day. We need food. We're on raw supplies. I know, I know. But we're trying. We're trying our best. Right. We might have to go to our little 
this place here, go to actions. Cycle progress, advisors, we've got none of this. Right, how do we turn off? I thought we had one on. That doesn't cost anything to have that, but we... <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. But we'll get there. 101 people we're down to. It feels like, do you know what, the less people that we get, right, the more food that we're going to have, and in theory, in theory, as long as we can keep enough people gathering food to make the meals for, to keep some people alive, we can build up slowly. We can build up slowly. Right, are we still producing any glass in this? No, we're not doing any a day. We've got no one working in it, and we've got no one working in you either. So let's turn that off. Save the Alecky. Does that use some as well? Yeah, it does. Right, we have got 150 power now, so stuff will... Some stuff will work. But we are down to 93 people. I don't really want to die. <laughs> but, you know, it's coming, it's coming. We have learned a lot, though. We have learned a lot for our next playthrough. And there's loads more stuff, though, that I wish I'd have got through to try and, like, the belt, the conveyor belts, the railway. Uh, what have we got here? But I think i just got to start taking it a bit slower on the next one. So, six children have just become workers. Don't know what they've let themselves in for, do they? Right, so, food, you're all going to have to start cooking. Right, that's not making any of them a day because we mustn't have any. So, let's get some meat because we have got a little bit of that. Still not making any food a day. I don't get that. 85 efficiency. Workforce 60, but we're not making any food. Right, that one is. Ah, there we go. That's making 49 a day now. Right, that's not making anything. There's no one in it. That's not making anything. This is partially why we're not getting enough food because we've just got no one to work in them. Right, there we go. Oh, we just had a spare person, right? And as I went to put him in, he disappeared. But look, 81 out of 86 people are sick and there's nothing at all I can do right now. Right, we've got 112 lumber. Got two people in there. We might as well take you out and get you working in the kitchen. Get 29 meals a day and see if we can just build this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Did we start building our hospital? Yeah. No, that needs loads of bricks that we haven't got. Right, did we get any stuff to make? Bronze ingots, yeah. We're still short on clay. So we might as well just keep the iron going for now. And that one has got no people, so it's not generating any coal and stuff. If we get more people, we're going to have to put them in the coal mine and things just to get some more power in. And then we can open our buildings back up again. But things look like they're going from bad to worse right now. We've got 62 out of 76 people sick. 71 people have got no clothes. <laughs> <sighs> We've got no one in the tailors either. That's that's probably why. So and maybe our next little influx of people have all got to go and work in the tailor because we must have hide, right? Yeah, we got seven thousand leather. So maybe we should have built another one of these earlier on, and got some stuff going. But you know, we live and learn. We live and learn. We're down to seventy-four people though. All of our fields are not doing anything, but we have got so much water, and we're getting quite a bit of food now. We've got four fish left. Our veg is doing really bad, but our meat is going great. And how are our mushrooms looking? I don't even know. Oh, we got seven mushrooms. So, yeah, that's bad as well. Two children have become adults, right? Where did I just say we wanted them working? Oh, the tailor. In the tailors. Yeah, that doesn't even help. Doesn't even help. <laughs> Minus 10 on the workforce, so that's not helping. We're eating raw food. Let's get people working in there then. 26 a day and you. See, we have got the meat. We've got the meat. We're just not... I don't know. But I don't know. It's just not going to plan. <laughs> right, we're down to 76 people. We've got one person spare left over and I don't know where to put them because... Because it doesn't seem to matter what we're doing at the minute. We just haven't got enough people. Right, there's no one in there. There's no one in there. We're not making any tools. We're not making any metal bars. We're just... Would it, it feels like we're just waiting for our people to pass on now, doesn't it? So we need to get this medicine up and running, but it looks like we've got to finish doing that, doesn't it? And our main hall 
is not going anywhere because we're not making any bricks. Right, let's go and see if we needed an extra person in our gathering camp. We can get a little bit more fish from you. You're not collecting any more meat, which is bad. And we're still losing people. We're still losing people. Lewis Hopkins died of an illness. Christopher Mitchell died of an illness. Zara Suarez died of illness. And we're having a sandstorm to make things better. Brandon Sutton died of an illness. And this looks like the end of days, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like the proper end of days. So look at that. Flu outbreak. Mental stagnation. Tools. Uh, no maintenance. No clothes. No food. Burial demand. Full storage. So yeah, I think our water's taking up most of our storage. We've got no meals at all. No meals at all. And we've got no one to put in any of them. We're down to 67 people. It looks like we are coming towards the end. And I hate to say it, but I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. But for the first playthrough, I think we haven't done that bad, you know. Right, merchants has arrived. Yeah, this is going to help. <laughs> right, we haven't got... All we can sell is paper. Um, we could buy some bronze and that might do us a little bit, but that's 28. Right, let's see if we can sell loads of paper because we're not really using it. And let's sell a thousand paper, so that's 332. Oops, how much do we get? We only get 50, 14. Not a lot, really. Yeah, no, we'll just do that. I mean, it's a little bit of something, right? Oh, wait, we've just got two spare people. Let's put you in there. Keep a little bit of food coming. A little bit. Uh, right, did that help with any of the stuff that we're doing? Bronze. We've got 14 out of 65. Food rations are not accessible enough. Do you know what we might just do? Right, it's probably a really, really bad idea, right? But... We're going to take our rations down. Oh, what am I doing? We're going to take our rations down to medium. You can keep your water. You can keep your water. But if we lower the rations, that might build up a little bit. And people might get sick, but... You know, it is what it is, I guess. But if it, it could work, you never know. We never know. It might just be the thing we needed to do. I think one of the problems we had early on, right was I raised our rations to try and get through winter without people getting sick and I forgot to lower them so we were going through loads of extra food for like five years maybe and that's helped us dwindle down because we did have quite a lot of food at one point and then things just kind of went pear shaped really quick right we might as well turn the farms off because there's no one working in them it's like we're having a full shutdown and telling everyone to go on the way isn't it <laughs> Like there's no one collecting anything at all. But we're down to 55 people. We have lost over 200 people in total. And um, it's devastating. Devastating. I don't understand why we don't get our cemetery till so late though. I mean, should we just... <laughs> it doesn't matter how many cemeteries we build, right? We are just not going to have enough for all our people. I would have liked to have got the orchard going. Losing control. I know we are. I know we are. Chief, we feel the need to give you a clear warning. For days we've been trying to live on rations that'll barely fill our spoons. We must do to such a life when we have all the resources we need to improve. Do you honestly find this acceptable? We will have to endure somehow. We will have to endure somehow. There's nothing we can do. You're saying that the rations aren't enough, but, you know, we haven't got no people to make them. Right, we're going to have to take you out of there. That looks like it might be. All right, well, we can do that one. And that one's full. So we've only got two kitchens making food because we haven't got enough people to run them. And we might as well... I don't even know where to put the last person. Right, we're going to put our maintenance down to essential. Not that we've got anyone in there anyway. What's this? Our blacksmith is not making anything. Even doing that gives us a minus 20 workforce. This one is not doing much. We've been eating real, raw food and we're worried. I know, but we've got three people left over now. So let's see if we can put one in there two in there and we're going to make a little bit of food we're going to make a bit of food see if we can save your lives i don't think it's possible anymore but things are really really bad <laughs> right we're gonna give them a little bit of respite before the end of the day right we're gonna tell them to have impatient rest leave 
Or should we make them all work harder? I don't think that's going to help, is it? Impatient rest leave. Right. Because everyone's... We're, we're not doing anything good. We're not doing anything good. We might as well give them some time to, like, be at home with the families before they're all gone. So we are going through winter and things are still not looking any better. We are still down to 53 people. Um, we've got no food at all. It doesn't look like... I don't even know if anyone's cooking anything. Look, that's not making anything anymore. We're not making any food. Because we've got no one to make it. So we might have to take people out of... <laughs> we haven't got nowhere to take people from. <laughs> we'll have to take someone out of that lumber mill. Right, that's got two people in. Right, you're making 50 in a day. You're making 26 a day. Right, we're making loads of food, right? But at the same time, we've got no one. I mean, we've got 11 meals, right? We're making 52 meals a day. And we've got 11... We've got... 55 people okay so yeah kind of is a little bit down but no we're not we're making like we're making more food than we got people so can we gradually build this up if we go on to like a minimal thing right let's go and see our minds we can probably shut down oh, it's no one in them anyway no one in them anyway so we've got no one collecting stuff no one collecting food no one cooking food no one working so where do we start? Where do we start? We filled all them places up at one point, and now there's no one in any of them. Right, our farms are all shut down. Our lumber mill has got no one in. We've got 53 people, right? Oh, do you know what? We've got loads on the on the world thing, haven't we? Maintenance state is very low, we know. But we're still kind of hanging around at 50 people, 50-ish people. So is there a chance of coming back from this? What do you think? I don't know. We'll... We'll end the year report. We lost 49 people. We had a minus of 37 people. Our stuff replenished by 36% and we've done nothing. We had a three-day sandstorm. So, do you think we can come back from this? I'll have probably already recorded a couple more episodes if we've got a couple more episodes in the playthrough without dying. But let me know. Do you think we can pull back from this or do you think we're shit out of luck? Because right now, it's feeling like we're out of luck. We've got no one in any of these buildings we might have to bring people back from the world but that's bringing our food in so i don't know whether we can even justify bringing people back right we've got no one in there have we still got any people in any of these we still got 14 people the people out here don't seem to die right so what's this one got that's got a wood cutter we have got loads of wood so we can probably bring you back and get you cooking some meat there we go. So we have still lost. We're not actually losing people right now, but 51 out of 52 people are sick. We just lost one more person, Axton Santana. And there's a fire. A kitchen is on fire. Let's have a full response. We got the water. We just haven't got no people. But, you know, and you know what? I think that is where we are going to finish off. Um, things are desperate. Desperate need for survival. And I don't know whether we can survive. We might. Next episode could be our last couldn't it? A group of travellers have appeared near our settlements. Two children have become adults. You know, we could bring this back. We could bring it back. This has been inactive, right? I'm going to activate this and just get it running in a little bit because we're going to clear the debris there. When this little group of settlers come in, I don't know whether that's them. No, that's just one person by himself. A little flower in the middle of the road. So we're going to end it there. In the next episode, we're going to get another like 15 people coming in, hopefully. We're going to get them all sorted of food out and we're going to see if we can turn this around before before it ends. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. I hope you are enjoying the series. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up, pop some comments down below. Let us know how bad I'm doing. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much for all the support. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.